I'm Dr. Emmanuel Reynaud and I'm an assistant professor of cell biology in the Conway Institute. So 3D bioprinting is the idea that you can print parts of a body, so a piece of tissues, organs, using a kind of syringe-based system with a gel, like collagen, and then you can actually print the shape, you can put the cells on it, and so you have a part of your body or part of a tissue that you can use for test or for putting back into a body. So at the moment, a lot of people doing bioprinting do it like 3D printing, so they just squirt gel in a dry environment. But we are water-based, we are 75% water, so all our organs have to be in a wet environment. So we're doing a fluid phase system, so we print in a fluid phase. So we keep the organs, or at least the micro tissue, in its physiological state at every step of the way of the printing. And then also, because it's a water-based environment, we can change it as we print. Because every part of the organ is different, so you have to be able to make layer one like this, then layer two like that, and then you have to be able to modify every single step to make it complex. You cannot make a heart with only gelatin. I mean, 3D printing with a bit of melted plastic will give you plastic toys which are going to be broken after a week. When you want to print an organ, you want something which is going to last for 25 years, which is in a water-based environment and involving thousands of different proteins, is not just printing and getting it. A mock-up of an art will never be a heart. It looks like it, but doesn't work like it. So we have developed the bioprinter. So the fluid phase bioprinter is being developed. We have a prototype on and we are starting to uh, talk with two big institutes, one in, uh, in Germany and the Czech Republic and one in, in Spain, to test it, to give it to other people to see if what we do is actually working. And we are looking for collaborators and people to test the device and expand it. So hopefully this device will be in every lab and hoping to change the game on the way we develop drugs and we understand the way the body works. So at the moment we're developing micro tissue, so two by two, very simple, very basic, but we can modify them regularly in every well, step by step. So we can make comparison, we can understand how you grow a tissue, you can understand how they flow with each other, how they connect with each other. So we can print a liver in one well, a brain in the others, and make a channel in between, and we can see how they cross talk, but at a small level first. And then after we're gonna build that from, from that experience to build bigger and bigger until we are able to get the full set of it in 20 years. The fact that we use and print in a fluid phase and are able to change that fluid phase and modify it at any given point give it more flexibility than the printer which are on the market. So instead of having one gel, one print, one solution, we have get 20 gel, 600 solutions, variations, so we can get thousands of combinations of tissues. If you don't use a bioprinter, then it takes you three years to develop one model which looks like the real thing. With a bioprinter, we can do 20 a week. This bioprinter is a team effort. So it's myself, Emmanuel Renault, from a biology point of view, but also Brian Rodriguez for physics. So it's physics, engineering, and biology working together to do that. And we have been supported by Enterprise Ireland and Science Foundation Ireland at the start, following through for the next, the last three years until now, which means we can have a prototype. This is a game changing in the fact that we're considering the body the way it is as a fluid phase based environment. At the moment, if you want to get a drug to a market, it's 1 billion euro, it can be 10 to 15 years. And the most part of that time is because you have to test it. Then you're going to test it in the lab and test it on worms and flies, on other type of animals. And this costs a lot of money. And this is not always meaningful because some of those animals are not really us. So then the, you don't translate the result very well. And we're missing the point. We are only 1% efficient. But if we can print bio tissue, micro tissue, which are significant, we can shorten that time by half, maybe more, and cutting down the prices of developing the drugs by two thirds. So it means we will have more good drugs hitting the market and not those drugs which works one than not the others, and then that's only a lot of side effects. So it's also improving the overall possibility to get the right drugs to the right person at the right time. And the last point is the numbers of organs demand for transplantation is up the roof across the country as we getting older and we all would like a, a good set of spare parts in the coming 40 years if we want to make it 250. <music>